so in this video we will be seeing about the remote macro injection so the name implies remote macro that means we should host our macro on our server first let's create uh, a normal word document and press alt f11 now select this document and put some normal calculator popping vba script okay now we are going to save this one onto the desktop as a dot m file that is word macro enable template so let's save this as test dot dot m so let's verify the execution of the payload when i when i click enable content we should see the calculator popping so this is our macro let's copy this and paste this in our Kali Linux server so let's press here and also let's go and run the python server so the python server is running on 0101 and 800 port now what we are going to do is we are going to create a word template uh, pre -defa uh, default template provided by the word now you can see here blue gray resume welcome to earth and some other default templates it's gonna provide you so let's select this blue, blue gray resume so let's click on create and here you can see it's gonna create this one so you don't need to add any macros here just save this file just save this into the desktop and let's say leave it as name dot docx so close this one now we are going to unzip this choose unzip uh, 7zip and extract to name now here you can see if you go to name folder and if you go to word underscore relationships that is uh, res and here you need to open this settings dot xml dot res so open with the user studio code or whatever notepad text editor you like so here you can see the relationships uh, tag in that we have if you scroll and you can see there is a file that is linked uh, to the some local directory and you can see win32.x so this is a template uh, that will be you can see that as a resume template so this will be loaded automatically whenever uh, you enable this uh, macros so let's uh, delete this one and instead what we're going to do is uh, we are going to point this to our malicious dot m file that is located at 192 So whenever we go and enable the macros, uh, our macro will be fetched and will be executed. So let's save this one and go back and select all the files and add to archive. Now rename this to again docx. Click on OK. Now you can see there is a uh, executive warning macros have been disabled before we don't have any of this because we do not have any macros but now we are specifying to the dot m file okay so the dot m is a uh, macro enabled template so that's why it's saying macros have been disabled now you can see it also tries to get the dot m file because uh, we have already opened the document file that's why it tries to fetch and whenever we enable the content we should see the calculator popping so this uh, technique might be more sturdier than uh, putting entire macro in a word document 
also you need to take care uh, of the HT, uh, the of the URL you are specifying sometimes your URL gets flagged also you can also uh, run the SMB server on this uh, you can host this file using the SMB server python script and then you can also specify using that as well 